Hello everyone, my name is Babarisa Olaiwala. I'm here to make mathematics understandable as possible. Today's video is on matrix e types and operations. A matrix is a rectangular array of entries or elements, that is, numbers, expressions, or symbols enclosed by brackets. For example, we can have list of names in this form, and each name represents the entry or the element. We begin with matrix terminologies. A matrix is called M by hand matrix if it has M rows and N columns. Then the dimension represents the M by hand matrix. Then the size of a matrix is a description of the numbers of rows with the horizontal lines and the columns, which is the vertical lines it has. Now we start with the types of matrices. A matrix with only one column is called column matrix or M by one matrix or column vector. For example, this is a three by one matrix. Now a matrix with only one row is called a row matrix or one by N of row vector. With this example, this is a one by four matrix. A matrix with N rows and N columns is called a square matrix of order N and the diagonal entry is A11, A22 up to AN are said to be the main diagonal of the matrix. For example, we are given this three by three matrix. And then we have a lot of examples of a square matrix such as Arrowhead, Hadaman, Sylvester, Rush, Bezelt, Essian, Symplectic, Bernoulli, Hourglass, Adjacency Matrix, Edmos Matrix, Heart Matrix, and Sopnik Matrix. If the number of rows is not equal to the number of columns of the matrix, it is called rectangular matrix or non-square matrix. For example, we have this 3 by 2 matrix. A matrix whose entries are all zero is called a null matrix or zero matrix, noted by zero. A square matrix with ones on the main diagonal and zeros elsewhere is called an additive matrix or unit matrix. An additive matrix is denoted by letter I or IN in the case if the size is important. Example, we have this three by three identity matrix. A square matrix in which all the entries except the main diagonal are zero is called a diagonal matrix. For instance, we have this three by three diagonal matrix in which the diagonal entries are not one. A square matrix is said to be lower triangular if all the entries above the main diagonal are zero. We denote it with letter L for this example. And also, a square matrix is called upper triangular matrix if all the entries below the main diagonal are zero and we denote it with letter U. Two matrices are defined to be equal if they have the same size and their corresponding entries are equal. For instance, we have 2 by 2 for matrix A and 2 by 2 for matrix B. Does A equals B? In this case, we have two possible solutions. The first is yes, only if x equals 5, and the other is no for all other values of x. If we start out with m by n matrix and then cross out some of its rows and columns, we obtain a submatrix. If we cross out second row and third column, we get a submatrix of this form. Now, what do we get if we cross out the last row and first column? Please pause the video and try the question before you proceed. Now, what do you get? We are supposed to arrive at this. A matrix can be partitioned into submatrices by inserting horizontal and vertical lines between selected rows and columns. Let's consider this three by four matrix. Then we can insert a vertical line between the third column and the fourth column. And also we can insert a horizontal line between the second row and the third row. We can also do it in another way. We can also put a vertical line 
in between the first column and the second column and also a horizontal line in between the first row and the second row. In this case, it means that partitioning can be done or carried out in many ways. Now, the submatrices can be written together as element of A, where we have this matrix, and this matrix is called a block matrix, whereby the A11 is a one by one matrix, then the A12 is a one by three matrix, then the A21 is a two by one matrix, and then the A22 is a two by three matrix. Matrix operations. If A and B are matrices of the same size, then A plus or minus B is the matrix obtained by adding or subtracting the corresponding entries of A and or from B. For example, we have A to be 3 by 3 and B to be 3 by 3 matrix also. Now, then A plus B, we are just going to add the corresponding entries together. And we have 15, 3, 5, minus 1, 15, 3, 5, 5, 7. What is A minus B? Please pause this video and try the question before you proceed. What do you obtain? You are supposed to get this. If A is an M by N matrix and alpha is any scalar, then the product alpha A is the matrix obtained by multiplying every element of A by alpha. Now we have a two by two matrix A, compute three A, we just multiply each element by three and we obtain this. Now, if A is an M by R matrix and B is an R by N matrix, then the product AB is the M by N matrix whose entries are determined as follows. Multiply the corresponding entries from the row and column together and then add up the resulting products. Note, the product of A with B is possible or defined if and only if the number of columns of A is the same as the number of rows of B. The product is defined if A and B are of the same size. For a M by R matrix A and R by M matrix B, the product AB is the M by M matrix. We consider this, the column of A is the same as the row of B, therefore, this inside can collapse while we will be having m by n matrix and the way of computing it is given in this format the next thing we need to think of is that if we can multiply a and b in this form what will happen or what can we get if it has to be the converse is BA defined? No. Why? The reason for that is for the B, the column of B is not the same as the row of A. Therefore, we, the BA is not defined. Let A be 2 by 3 matrix and B be 3 by 2 matrix. We want to find the product of A and B. The first is, is the product AB defined? Yes. If yes, what is the size of the resulting matrix? The resulting matrix is going to be a 2 by 2. So let's call that C. Now let's compute the element of C. We need to compute C11 first and it's going to be the first row of A multiplied by the first column of B and we're going to have 5. Next, we want to compute C12. For the C12, we take the first row of A and the second column of B and we are going to get 7. The next is to compute C21, which is going to take the second row of A 
and the first column of B and the resulting value will be minus 1. The last one is to compute C22. And we're going to take the second row of A and the second column of B. Now, what are we going to get for the resulting value for C22? Please pause the video and try the question before you proceed. Okay, we are going to get C22 to be 11 and the final result is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix of 5, 7, minus 1 and 11. A square matrix can possess a positive power. We express the result in multiple times of the power. We define a power of 1 to be a and a power of n to be in n terms. Example, we want to evaluate a square if a is 2 by 2 matrix. Now, a square will be a multiplied by a in this form, and then we're going to get 9 minus 5, 0, 4, a 2 by 2 matrix. If a is a square matrix, and if a matrix b of the same size exists, such that a b equals b a, which is identity, then A is said to be invertible and B is an inverse of A denoted by A power of minus 1. Now, if A has an inverse, then A is not singular. If A inverse does not exist, then A is singular. We have this following theorem that if we have a 2 by 2 matrix, which is invertible, if and only if AD minus BC not equals 0, and the inverse is given in this form. Let's consider an example of this. What is A inverse? Following the theorem, we are going to arrive at the A inverse to be 1 over 4 multiplied by 3 minus minus 2 multiplied by minus 5. Then taking the swapping the main diagonal, the entries in the main diagonal, Y on the anti-diagonal, we introduce negative there and will result into 1 over 2, then the matrix 3, 5, 2, 4. If A is any m by n matrix, then the transpose of A denoted by A power of T is the m by n matrix obtained by interchanging the rows and columns of A. For example, if we have A to be 3 by 2 matrix, we want to find N transpose, it's going to give us 2 by 3 matrix by interchanging the rows to become column. A square matrix A is said to be symmetric if A equals A transpose. A square matrix A is skewed symmetric if A equals negative A transpose. All main diagonal entries of a skewed symmetric matrix must be zero. If A is a square matrix, then the trace of A denoted by TRA is defined to be the sum of the entries on the main diagonal of A. For example, if B is a 4 by 4 matrix and we want to compute the trace of B, we go to the main diagonal and we sum it up. And when we do that, we are going to have the trace of B to be 11. Given A to be 2 by 3 matrix and B to be 3 by 2 matrix, is A plus B defined? Are the products, which is A, B, and B, A defined? The resulting sizes is A, B equals B, A, and Y is A squared defined, and Y does B inverse exist, and Y does trace A exist, and Y? What is the size of AB transpose? The second question is to identify the types of following matrices. Whether it is a triangular matrix, a unit matrix, a symmetric matrix, and so on. If you like this video, please click on the like and subscribe button for more videos. 
and don't forget to drop your comment below.